Hello YouTube and welcome to this new and kind of short video on the Marmor of Pianone. Before I say anything, I want you to excuse me for my terrible pronunciation of Marmor and Pianone because, well, I'm not that good at pronunciation, you guys know that. Uh, and that said, I have had a lot to do in the past weeks and in this short video it's just like, well, I want to get back into the saddle with making videos because I've been out of it for... I think a month now and well that's kind of long so I also want to say something about uh, the things that a lot of viewers have asked me on Steam in the last month but I do that at the end of the video so first we get to the lore um, that said this subject is a very much requested subject on the channel and even though there are a great many videos on it on YouTube and also a lot of articles on wikis on it and so on Due to the many requests, I will still do it, so I hope you like my version. That said, let's kick off. Let's start by explaining in short what both Marmor and Pianone are, for the people that never heard of it. So we're all on the same page. The Marmor are another type of elf, like the Bosmer and the Altmer. They are said to be one of the earliest offspring of elf, or Mer, like the Dwemer. They live in their ancient home of Pianone an island to the south of Thamriel, and they are ruled by, the immor by their immortal wizard king Orgnum. Again, sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> so let's break that down. <coughs> the Marmor are just like I said, one of the earliest offspring of Myrrh. They are known as the Sea Elves or Tropical Elves, or simply as Pianoneans. They came to be when, the earliest, when in the earliest times a faction of the inhabitants of Altmeris, under the leadership of a very wealthy Altmer by the name of Orgnum, rebelled against the government of Altmeris. This group was banished to a land far away, so they could never again rebel against Altmeris. This land would later become Pianone. There, the nobleman named Orknum crowned himself king and has been ruling over the land and its Altmeri inhabitants for centuries now. Over the ages, the Altmeri inhabitants of, of Pianone devolved into the Marimer we know now, with their grain skins and milky white eyes. It is said that over the years, their skin has now gained chameleon-like properties to camouflage themselves. However, this has never been shown in any of the games. They have also learned themselves a certain type of magic, they themselves call it serpent magic. With this magic, they have turned the vicious sea serpents hunting the waters around Pianone into mounts and allies instead of enemies. With this magic, they were able to leave the island, even though they cannot read Altmeris anymore, they can reach the Somerset Isles. While I'm saying this, some of you have maybe already noticed that Orknum was still alive by then, after three eras. Well, the guy is immortal, and if he's still alive by the time of Skyrim, well, he is, if he's not killed by someone in secret, it is likely that he is still alive by that time, and still in Pianone playing planning an invasion of Tamriel, or at least the Somerset Isles, while we are slaying dragons. Although all his invasions have failed over the years, there has never been a king or emperor able to take over Pianone. A lot of Altmer kings have tried, but never did any ship return. Only once a single warship managed to return and told of Pianone. It, was, it looked like a sea jungle, a place with, filled with jungle and veget vegetation and sea valleys. It is said to be shrouded in mist and the seas around it are controlled by serpents under the control of its inhabitants and specifically under the control of Orgnim. Well, this pretty much concludes my short summary of the history of Pianone. I realize it has been kind of short, but as I said at the start of this video, this is just a way for me to get back into the saddle. And I will probably do a bigger and better video next week or even at the end of this week, so stay tuned. But as I said, I want to answer some questions I get from a lot of people on Steam. A lot of people on Steam ask me what my plans are for the channel. And well, I don't really have any plans for the channel because when I started this channel I would never realize that it would become so big as it is right now and it's still growing. Because I started this channel as a way to make some people understand how the Great War came to be and what its impact were in my first video. And then, due to popular demand, I decided to continue making videos. But, as I said in earlier videos, it's just a hobby, nothing I plan to make bigger than it already is. I also don't want to make any money of it because I keep this channel a non-profit, just something I like to do in my free time. 
I think that making money of it would, well, I don't know, it would ruin the channel's aim. <laughs> That's why I've also disabled ads on my channel and shun away from all kinds of making money of it. It's just a hobby and it will stay a hobby. And maybe when I get sick and tired of the Elder Scrolls, I will give the channel to someone else to carry the torch and, well, keep everyone informed about the Elder Scrolls lore when I'm done. I want to keep this channel, well, a kind of free hub of knowledge, not some kind of channel centered around, around me or making money. That's also why I don't give a lot of information about myself because first I'm not that interesting and second I've seen very promising channels devolve into an ordinary vlog channel that's just centered around the owner just because it makes more money and thereby I would well alienate most of my viewers. So I'm not planning to do that and I probably never will because well as I said I'm not that interesting. Well uh, that's out, and I hope you guys understand what I want to say. Anyway, I want you to leave your video suggestions for next video in the comments below. Or another video, because I have a huge to-do list. And I probably pick one of that. Or maybe if, well, some, someone gets me a very interesting thing, I will probably do that first. I don't really have, like, uh, I don't know how to say that. But... <laughs> you can put your suggestions in the comments below or in my steam group in the forum for which the link is below in the description on that steam group i post channel updates uh, and keep a small forum to keep you guys informed about well what's going on and uh, the videos i consider so well consider joining if you're interested in that kind of thing that said i will probably see you guys next week so yeah see you later